Stephen King, the greatest author of all time, and my absolute favorite. All of this, this all wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Stephen King. He's the one who got me into reading. I fell in love with reading because of how amazing his books are. So, I'm not worthy enough to rank his books, but I'll try my hardest. And I hope that somehow this could reach out to Mr. King. And if it does, Mr. King, all I want to do is one thing. Say that I love you. Let's get to it. So I believe this list is going to be chronological. So we're obviously starting with Carrie. Now, Carrie for me is such a, just a solid, solid debut novel. I think it's going to have to be in Good Boy King because it doesn't deserve average. It's definitely not average. Now, here we get to the absolute, absolute greatest novel of all time written, in my opinion, Salem's Law. I mean, this could not get any less than magnum opus. You've got everything you want in it. Guns, sex, war. I mean, vampires. What else do you need? This is the ultimate novel, honestly. Rage is a very controversial novella. I haven't read it about a school shooting. Not very interested in it. Then we got The Shining. Ooh, okay. I don't know how this is going to go. I could put it in magnum opus. I truly can. I think it deserves to be in that tier list. But I just think it's, it's not what I consider to be Stephen King at his best. It is, if this was any other, any other author, this would be the greatest novel ever for that author. But for now, it's going to have to go and go to it. I might change my opinion later, but I'm going to go with this right now. Ooh, now we got the stand. This, this is a behemoth. This is an absolutely huge book. 1,400 pages. It's gonna be tough, honestly. I don't know if it's definitely not great. It is definitely goaded. But again, is it a magnum opus or is it a goaded book? No, it's goaded. It's goaded. There's, it's a bit too late. There was a character that I absolutely hated, and I thought that Stephen King spent way too much on it. So I think I'm just gonna ignore that. Then we got Night Shift. This is a collection of works I haven't read it. I also have read The Long Walk it's, uh, by his pseudonym Richard Bachman. Then we got The Dead Zone. I love this novel. I mean, it was a five star for me. But it truly just wasn't creative, if you know what I mean. I thought that it was a great novel, but there was no element of creativity. Well, the characters were amazing. Yeah, it was just a bit not creative enough for me to put it in those top tier lists. So I'll go with great. Still absolutely loved it. Then we got Firestarter. I love this novel. It's a cute little novel, you know, it's kind of YA almost, but there were some gruesome moments in it. It's, it connects to the Dark Tower, which obviously gives it a plus. But I think, again, it's going to be a good book because it just doesn't have any element that really stood out to me that much. But I still enjoyed it, so definitely a good book. Then we got Dance Macabre, I haven't read that one yet. Roadwork, I haven't read that one. Cujo, I know, I know, but I still haven't read Cujo for some reason. But this is on my need to read list, definitely. Okay, okay, this one is gonna be, I think, the truly first hard one The Gunslinger. I don't know how I'm gonna, where I'm gonna put The Gunslinger at. Because in my mind, I just can't disconnect it from The Dark Tower, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's a good novel. Like, it's, as a standalone book, I think it's solid. But just, I think, with a reread of the whole series, this becomes a goaded book. So I think I'm just going to, you know, put it in the middle, go with a great book. The Running Man, I haven't read yet. Honestly, a lot of, like, his Richard Bachman books, I haven't really got into. A uh, different season, uh, the, again, a short collection of novels, have a read. The Pet Cemetery. okay, okay. Honestly, I can't, I cannot say it's not goaded. I cannot say this book just didn't scare the shit out of me. Absolutely haunting and wonderful. I mean, the character work, oh my god. Just thinking about it, I miss the characters already. But can I put this at magnum opus? Do I think this is... 
you know what for now this is a magnum opus book i truly think it is but if it gets a bit you know too much book in the magnum opus section i'm gonna put it down at your list cycle of the werewolf haven't read that one yet christine haven't read that one again one of his classics that i absolutely need to read the talisman with peter Trop. haven't read that one yet eyes of the dragon okay this is a good knock it's just okay not good i think it has a good to great potential if i connect it to the dark tower because obviously uh, the villain in this is randall flag so okay i i can't just keep you know putting the dark tower series in my mind while i rank these so i'm just gonna have to put an average i thought it was good i, I thought it was okay nothing too crazy it's a, you know he, he wrote it for his daughter for god's sake how can i hate on it then we got thinner uh thinner it, it was a bit honestly i don't love the main character i think that's one of the reasons why i didn't fall in love with it it's a solid premise but nothing again too crazy so average list again then we got Skeleton Crew, haven't read that sh collection of novels yet. Okay, it. I mean, I, this is an instant magnum opus for me. I I mean, there is no if or question about it. It must be, it, it, I think it is his most creative and outgoing work ever. It just has so many crazy details. I gotta say though, the orgy scene at the end does ruin it stain it a bit for me but other than that you cannot get a book better than this 1200 pages of absolute insanity this was peak stephen king high off cocaine so do with that information what you will drawing the three absolutely loved it i thought it was honestly after like such a slow burner with the gunslinger the drawing of three really helped me like get back into the series Okay, Misery. This is the first book I've ever read from Stephen King. Honestly, this is the, the one that started it all. So I think it'll have to be in the in the go to section. Because it deserves so. Is it better than The Stand of the Shining? No. But it's definitely better than The Dead Zone. And let me tell you. The greatest antagonist of all time, Annie Wilkes, is in this novel. So that's all you need to know about it. So we don't have anything in the we don't talk about this section yet i don't know if we'll ever will but we'll see i don't i can't see which book it, this one is so i'm just gonna assume it's uh heaven red okay the dark half another one of those like the main character wasn't too amazing for me so it was just an average book i think i'll go with that four past midnight haven't read that one yet neither did i read needful things the wasteland again a great book here's the thing okay with the dark tower series i could put all of them in like the magnum opus section if they were like one book but that's obviously not possible so for now you know the first three they're gonna be in the like great section gerald's game okay this is gonna sound very controversial but this is the scariest stephen king ever in my opinion i don't think it ever got more creepier than this like with all of this great work i think gerald's game is is absolutely scary so i think good is is where it belongs it's kind of short so it doesn't have enough content for me to put it in any of like the above sex list but this one will do for now dolores claiborne again you know it kind of connected to gerald's game i love i love this book again you know it's gonna be in the good section is it great? It could be. Honestly, I think it could be great. But I, if I have to think about it in terms of like, is it better than Carrie? Is it better than the Firestarter? Then I don't think so. So we'll just settle for that now. Have read Nightmares and Dreamscapes. Have read a part of Insomnia. So I wouldn't consider it a full book. Rose Matter, haven't read yet. Man, what's it, what is it with this tier list? It's just like half of the books I can't even see. But this is another Richard Bachman book, so I'm just going to assume I haven't read it. Desperation. Ah, man. Is this going to be the first... We don't talk about this book. It could be. Honestly, I think it could be. It's a bit too long. i got to be honest with you. 
maybe it's an average if you connect it to the other book that's related to it that we'll get to later but I think this is gonna be we don't talk about this I think it just way too long the characters were a bit meh no no honestly it's gonna be average I think the premise and like the creativity in it, in it was too crazy not to like I gotta give it that because it wasn't I was at least impressed by that but with all of the other factors I think average is gonna do it the green mile I haven't read that one yet but I think the movie is a magnum opus the wizard and glass okay so in this one we got kind of got a look into like Ronald's past and like you know the what he did in the past but I thought it was good I honestly loved it I mean I don't know where this belongs honestly I think I don't know, you know what, I, I, I can't put any Dark Tower book below great. All of them were amazing to me. Even like the Gunslinger, especially like after re reread. So it is better than the Gunslinger, so I'll, I'll give it that at least. Haven't read Bag of Bones yet. I know, I'm being exposed as not a real Stephen King fan with all of this, but you know, I'm trying my best. The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, it's a good, bo a good boy book. I mean... What can, what I, it's, there's nothing much to say about it except for the fact that it's really sweet and heartwarming. That's really all you need for a book. Hearts in Atlantis. Nah, I haven't read that one yet. On writing, really want to read this. I mean, I just want to get a glimpse into his like writing process, but still haven't read that one yet. Dreamcatcher, I hear it's not too good, so I haven't read it. Black House, the follow-up to the Talisman book, haven't read it. From a View of Eight, haven't read that one yet. Everything Eventual, haven't read that one yet. Wolves of the Call, okay. This is the only one of the Dark Tower series where I can confidently say this is a magnum opus for me. You cannot get any better than this in terms of fantasy. It, when, when I think of fantasy, this is the book I think of. Call me not a you know a fantasy reader but this is the greatest fantasy book for me personally absolutely loved it i think this is when the series peaked and it just gives you everything you wanted from this series it connects everything it connects to the past stephen king walls and absolutely loved it there and there's also like a huge you know connection to salem's lot which is as you can see my favorite book of all time so that pumped it, up, pumped it up a little bit too. Okay, then we have Song of Susanna. I think everybody, you know, every Stephen King fan will agree with me on this. This is the worst of the Dark Tower. I think it's gonna have to go in good. You know, it's still the Dark Tower series, so I can't put it anywhere below, but uh, it just disappointed me, especially after coming like such a great book, like the Wolves of the Kala, and to now have this, I mean, really disappointing, but it's still a good book. Uh, it didn't stop me from reading the whole series. Then we got the end to the absolute greatest series of all time, The Dark Tower, with the, as you can tell, The Dark Tower book, the last volume. I, I mean, a lot of people hate the end for some reason, but I absolutely loved it. I thought it was like you could not end this book in a better way. And it's, I think it's better than Wizard and Glass still a great book but hear me out I, if I have to put the Dark Tower series it's I think it, it even goes above Magnum Opus but as individual books I think these are my fa final rankings Colorado Kid haven't read that one yet Cell I, th I think Cell is eh, Cell is too overhated I think Cell is Cell is okay it's not it's nothing too bad uh, I think it's better than Desperation obviously the premise is a bit cheesy now, but it's some great character work. That's the only thing that saved it for me. Lies Stories, haven't read that one yet. Blaze, haven't read that one yet. Uh, Duma Key, haven't read it. Just After Sunset, the collection, haven't read it. Under the Dome. Okay, now when we talk about underrated, this is the perfect underrated book. I mean, so many people just ignore it and don't think it's good, but... I believe it's worth the 1,100 pages. The drama, the political conflict, I think this is like, other than the Dead Zone, this is Stephen King's only, you know, attempt at trying to write something political, and I absolutely loved it. I think it's up there with The Stand, The Shining, and Misery. You cannot tell me else. I don't care what you think.
Full Dark No Stars. I love this n- n- collection of stories. Honestly, it's 1921. That's my favorite short story by Stephen King. So I think it's going to go in the good section. 112263. Haven't read that one yet, but absolutely love the show. And it's a must read for me. Hopefully soon. The Dark Tower a Companion that went through the keyhole. Haven't read it that one yet. I think I need to just kind of get everything about the Dark Tower under my belt. And then we got the sequel to The Shining, Doctor Sleep. Again, a bit underrated, too overhated for me. I thought it was good. It's definitely better than the movie. Please do not watch that horrible movie, even though it starts Obi Wan Kenobi. But Doctor, I mean Doctor Sleep, I enjoyed it. I think it's a good book. Oh, yeah, Doctor Doctor Sleep, solid book, solid sequel. Like here's the thing, you can't go. You can't outdo The Shining. I think that wasn't his intention. So this was the best he could do when you have The Shining in mind, really. Okay, Joyland. I I enjoy Joyland. It's a good book, I think. Not nothing too crazy, you know. It's a, just a thriller type of book with some ghost story in it. But I think it's a good book. Uh, yeah, Joyland better than Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, definitely. Okay, now we get to the final series that I've read from Stephen King, which is the Mr. My Series trilogy. Again, if I had to put the whole series together, I think it wouldn't be Magnum Opus, perhaps, but definitely goaded. And I think the first book, Mr. Mercedes, is goaded. It's like, I've never seen that side of Stephen King yet. I think this is the book that really solidified that he is still a good author. Even after years that have passed, I think this book, what, dropped in 2011? So, this book, absolutely amazing. Detective Stephen King can't, get, can't do any better. Revival. I, it's a, his take on Frankenstein, it's a bit too out there, but it's a good, it, it's, you know, it's good when Stephen King is too out there, I think. Absolutely loved it. I think it's going to be, yeah, closer to the great than, you know, to the average for me. Finders Keepers, again, a great sequel. I thought this was an amazing one. Could, I don't think you could do any better sequel than this. But it's still, you know, can't put it up there. So I think it's going to have to be great. The Bizarre of Bad Dreams. I haven't read that one yet. Okay, and I think we get to the last one that I have read from Stephen King. End of Watch. Okay, how am I going to rank End of Watch? I thought it was not good. I didn't think it was the the, the the ending that I wanted or expected in terms of like the, the whole book itself. But the, just like the last 20 pages, last 40 pages, absolutely nail on. I thought it was such a great ending to the characters. But the book itself as a standalone, you know, like when you don't consider the 40 part pages at the end, I thought it was a bit disappointing. I think it's going to have to go... Man, yeah, good to like average. I think that that's what it's gonna be. But you know, since it's Mr. Mercedes, I can't really put it in average. And that, you know, forty pages absolutely saved it for me. Yeah, so I haven't read either of you know these last few books. I don't know why. I definitely need like. Here's the thing. I had like my Stephen King run. Like I've read all of these in a row. I think. So I, so I got a, bur- a bit burned out, but I need to get back into this because this was absolutely amazing. I mean, exactly like not none of the books. Okay, maybe Desperation. Honestly, I think Desperation is gonna have to go the there. And I think this book is the Regulators, which I've read. So okay, I think the Regulators was was better than Desperation. So I think this is my final, final ranking. Desperation is the only one that I don't really like, but as you can see, like, this is a great discography. I don't think any author has anything similar to this. And the amount of diversity in this, like, this is not just horror, this is not just fantasy or action. Every genre you need is all in here. So, I think Salem's Lot, the goaded book for me, cannot do any better. It, it could also be the best. I mean, no pun intended, but yeah, it is great. Wolves of the Kala, I think 
like I said before, if this was the Dark Tower series, it would be S tier Magnum Opus, even above that. Pet Cemetery, I think Pet Cemetery is good here. Again, the shining is really close. But yeah, this is all the Stephen King. I know, you know, I probably, I don't know if I've read more than I haven't read, but this is the best I could do, okay? I had to like diversify my reading taste because there was a while where I was only reading Stephen King. So this is my ranking to everything that this beautiful man has ever written. And honestly, whatever you think about this tier list, I just want to let you know one thing. That even the bad books, even the books that are ranked very slowly, are better than whatever books out there. So even Desperations, still have to read it because it's better than anything you've ever read because that's what Stephen King does. He just writes better than everyone else. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, press like, share and subscribe and I'll see you later.